just opened my food and guess what guys? I got an extra potato scallop. <laughs> Yum! Now this is a fat feed. Hey guys, it's Jennifer. So, as you can see, this week's video is a very special, different one that I've never done before. This is a mukbang video, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's just a video of people eating. So if you guys don't like, you know, sounds of people eating, then um, don't watch this video because you'll probably hear me eat. So basically what this is, is seafood. There is three potato scallops, a few calamaris, prawn cutlets, and fish and chips. I'm so excited! Let's dig into it, guys. And also I'll be answering some questions that you guys have sent me. I'm doing a Q&A while eating as well, just to make this video a bit more interesting so I have lots of things to talk about. So yeah, let's dig in and then um, I'll be answering some of your questions. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get into it. I'm so keen to dig into this freaking food. I'm going to put up my hair because, you know, that's how you know that it's getting serious. I'm going to dig into the potato scallop. They were so nice to give me an extra one. I didn't even realise. Mmm, so crunchy. It's really good. And also, I have a drink right here but it just doesn't fit in the frame so it's just gonna be you know i don't really drink and eat at the same time i usually just drink afterwards which is really weird oh god it's so crispy and if you guys didn't know i'm left-handed so <gasps> i saw that coming and i have chicken salt all over this because you guys know well if you don't then you know now i'm in love with chicken salt I love crunchy food as well, so I'm just like, oh yes. I literally ordered so much food that the lady was like, she gave me two sets of cutlery. <laughs> it's just me eating this, lol. answering some questions that you guys have sent me while I'm eating so let's start off with question number one what's your skincare routine cuz bish your skin always glowing well thank you I don't think my skin glows that much like my answer is it's the highlight like I have acne on my cheek but you probably never see that because you know I'm always wearing makeup I don't really have a skincare routine I just wash my face with the Benzac foam facial cleanser which you guys will see in my next video and yeah I just moisturize with the Neutrogena um, oil-free moisturizer. That's the only thing that I do and every now and then I do exfoliate with the um, Benzac one Other than that, that's what I that's what I do and the only reason why my skin looks so glowy all the time is probably because all of the highlight that I put on <laughs> So yeah mm. it Tastes so good. I love potato scallops mm These calamaris are quite soft. I like them pretty crispy. They're nice. I probably look like the biggest fatty right now eating all this food. But that's the point of a mukbang. You're meant to like, you know, feast into food and stuff like that. So don't be judging me for how I'm eating. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm literally like that meme right now where it's like, Every time you eat food, you just dance. Like, I just have to. It's just so good. Question two is, what do you look for in a guy? Obviously, you have Johnny, but you're like, you know, haha. I don't know, just a guy who's funny. Like Johnny is. Funny. Obviously, really um, considerate, like, sweet, you know. Um, pretty fun, like. A guy with style, I guess. Yeah, and we definitely have to have a lot in common. Like, I can't just meet a guy and be with him and not have anything in common with him because then you can't really just, you can't mesh well. You need to have at least the same taste in music or, like, same hobbies or, like, even same friendship group. I don't know, just something like that. Which is basically everything Johnny has. Next question, favourite place you've been to? I haven't been to many, wow, mind-blowing places in my life. I can't think of anything. I can't think of my favourite place I've been to. Next question, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? You can name multiple. 
So I've always wanted to go to America, just you know, to try out the food and see the views, as everyone always cliche says, I want to go to America. I would like to travel Europe. I want to go everywhere. I'm not as much into Asia. Maybe I'll visit Tokyo, it's pretty cool over there. But other than that, not really anywhere. I'd rather go to um, Europe, more like the islands, like Croatia and all that kind of stuff. And um, Fiji would be nice. And I'm actually going to Melbourne at the end of this year in November. So I'm so excited! I've legit never travelled domestically, I've only been to Vietnam. I'm excited to be travelling to Melbourne. I'll be going with Johnny. Um, after I finish school, so I'll definitely vlog that for you guys. So definitely keep an eye out, subscribe to my channel so you can see my vlogs. And yeah, I think it'll be a really fun time. It's gonna be my first, you know, independent trip with Johnny. Next question is favorite pair of heels. Right now, my favorite pair of heels would probably be my thigh high boots and also my Tony Bianco heels. Um, I'll insert pictures of them here. Mm. I probably won't even finish this, but that's okay. Next question, why did you graduate after HSC? I don't know, that's just how my school is. It was so sad watching everyone graduate and stuff like that and get the certificates and stuff and like go to formal even. And I'm over here like... Oh. So I graduate in November and it's after HSC exams. So I kind of prefer that because I don't want to like get lit and turn up and celebrate end of school forever kind of thing now, but then have to go back and like study for HSC. Like you'll just be so deceived and like unmotivated but in a way you can kind of go all out after HTC is done and like fully celebrate so I kind of prefer it after listen to the to the I feel so unhealthy right now but I'm so hungry so it doesn't matter Let's try this prawn thingy. I don't know if it'll be good. Hmm. Not bad. Speaking of which, shout out to Taylor. Hey Taylor for recommending me do a mukbang. So I hope this is sufficient and good enough for you, Taylor. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm literally picking out the little crunchy small chips right now. Which industry do you desire to work in and why so? I'm thinking kind of business slash events. To be honest, I don't really know if I'll be an entrepreneur one day, but um, just I all I know is business slash events. Like I'm not into law, I'm not into medicine. I can't see myself doing anything else but business or events. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Do you go to the gym? Most of the time I don't really have time and plus before I got my pee, I couldn't just go whenever I wanted. So it was kind of really hard to go to the gym, but um, past two months I have been going to the gym. I kind of stopped though because I have to, you know, study for HSC. I could if I wanted to fit in an hour of training every day, but you know, I think after HSC I'll definitely get into training more. Um, especially because, you know, it'll be easier for me. I'll have more time and I can drive, so that'll be much better. It's just that right now I'm kind of trying to study, keep my focus on studying right now, but yeah. Let's have another bite. I want to have some fishy. Oh, tartare sauce. Next question. Are you Viet? I am Viet. I'm Vietnamese. Yes, I am. What would you like to do after high school? Well, um, I'm moving out after high school, like straight after I finish. Um, and moving with my sister, my big sister, so that's going to be so exciting because me and her are really, really close and we're going to have such a good time and, you know, like, finally get a bit of, you know, independence. So that's going to be so much fun and I'm also hoping to go to uni, so I'm going to try, you know, do uni work 
and then just move with my sister and it'll be so much fun. Who do you love more, Joanne or Vivian? Obviously I can't choose, you know, love my sisters equally and all that. Yeah, legit, I'm like close to both of them. Um, who's your best friend because you seem to have many? Well, I do have really a lot of close friends but my bestest friend is probably Jasmine. Um, I've known her for so long, known her for the longest time ever and we're still super duper close. We talk every day, all that kind of stuff even though we don't see each other that often. So yeah. And she knows everything about me. I trust her with my life. She's the MVP. Legit. I need to have some more fish. Mm. To be honest, guys, I'm getting quite full. Don't hate. Next question. When's your anniversary? Johnny and I's anniversary is the 18th of January. It's coming up pretty soon and that'll mark two years. So yes, how exciting. Can you film more vlogs? What are your next video ideas? Definitely when I finish school and live with my sister, um, I'll have so much more space and time to film videos, definitely. So I definitely will film so much more videos. So keep out for my formal vlog because my formal is coming up obviously in November and also my Melbourne vlog. I'll definitely be vlogging those two events and those will be really, really interesting videos, I feel like. So watch out for my formal and my Melbourne vlogs. What's your favorite thing to eat? I really love any kind of food. Um, I'm kind of like, I love food, but then I'm picky at the same time. Like, I don't know, like I can't really choose. I'm like indecisive. How do you always have fresh nails? They're not quite fresh right now. They kind of grown out a bit, but my mum, does my nails for free, so you know, I get the hookups. She's a nail technician. Do you wear glasses? Um, yes, I do. I wear them most of the time. The only time I don't wear glasses is when I'm going out like to a special event, like I'm going out with friends or a party or anything. Um, but if I'm just, you know, going to work or like at home all day, I would just wear my glasses. I don't even know where they are right now. What do you film on? Um, I actually don't know what it's called. Actually, I do have the box right here. It's kind of like a camcorder, it's not really like a camera. I do really want to upgrade soon when I have money. Well, not anytime soon though. This is a Sony HDR CX240E. Zero E, sorry, not O. I'm actually getting really full, you guys, help. <gasps> Next question, are you going to knock out? Yes, I am. It's in December, so I'll be free, you know, ready to party, all that kind of stuff. Get into K-pop. You probably know who this is. A lot of people that I know are kind of into K-pop, so I don't know who this could be. But um, I'm not really that much into K-pop. I remember when I was younger, I used to watch um, Pop Asia a lot. But I don't know if that was K-pop or J-pop. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I'm not really into that kind of thing. Like I did, I was a lot when I was younger. Like I used to watch Pop Asia every every week. But um, now, not really so much. If I took you to the tattoo shop and you had 20 minutes to decide what to get and you had to get something, what would you get? 20 minutes. Oh, to be honest, I'm pretty like set on a tattoo that I really want. So it wouldn't take me that long to decide. I really want a thigh piece um, of like, you know, a mix of um, flowers, maybe maybe lotuses or something or tulips because it's my mum's favourite flower. Um, kind of like an, a really Asian influenced tattoo. Like I want it to go from like, my hip down to my thigh kind of either like a dragon or with some flowers or something like that my mum said that like it's not good to get a, a dragon on myself because i was born in the year of the dragon and i'm like why but that's what i'd probably go for because i've really wanted to get that for ages what is your favorite thing about johnny and what's your least favorite thing about him i don't know he really treats me really good and he's really sweet and considerate you know he's always taking care of me and like making sure i'm happy and all that kind of stuff and it's really sweet of him and what's your least favorite thing about him he's so lazy sometimes like he can get so lazy to the point where he just wants to stay in bed all day or he freaking doesn't eat all day it has nothing to do with me but you know it just concerns me because you know you can't not eat all day is this what i meant yes I, I wonder who asked me that question how are you coping with hsc studies i had like a bit of a breakdown before like the studying session started but then I just composed myself and I'm just like Jennifer as long as you try that's all you can do you should be proud of yourself like no matter what mark you get I honestly I'm not phased like 
I just want to get it over with. I know that I'll try my hardest, obviously, and whatever I get, I'll get. And um, I've also gotten pretty organized. But I printed out like how many days left. And down here, I'm currently up to this day right here. And I basically just like wrote out like a study schedule and I did it in the order of worst subject to best subject. So um, for the first, for the last three weeks, I've been studying two subjects a day, three hours each subject. And I feel like that's a sufficient amount for me as long as I try and actually focus within those six hours then I'm pretty happy with myself. Since this is the last week leading up to HSC, I've narrowed it down to only one subject a day. So, you know, each day is a different subject just to have a bit more focus on each each subject a bit more and then you know as the um and then i'll study as the exams come i don't know man i'm just, I'm just gonna try my hardest you know um what's your favorite class at school i really enjoy my tafe class which is um my tafe course that i'm doing for events it's called tourism and events management and i really like that because of the content that we learn it's really interesting and it actually interests me so you know i kind of like learning about that kind of stuff so I really like that class and it's a little it's a little intimate class as well so it's kind of good and like we were able to get really close and the relationship between the teacher and the student was really good so I really liked that class and I also really liked hospitality for the same reason how have you been dealing with HSC studying wise and all that stuff love you oh uh, love you too I don't know who this is I literally can't tell but I've been okay with HSC like you know the fact that I've actually been cooped up all day inside studying every single day kind of takes a toll on me sometimes um I kind of get a bit restless sometimes but Johnny constantly tells me and reminds me he's just like don't worry this is the only time that it counts just try your hardest and then afterwards you can potato all you want and I'm like that's true like what are your favorite foundations that have no flashback I don't think any of my foundations that I've been using have flashback the ones I've been loving lately are the Maybelline Matte and Paulus which has been my holy grail and also the um, Milani one. What are some cute date ideas I could do with my BF? Like what kind of dates do you and your BF go on? Um, we go on a lot of food adventures, which is what we call them. We call them food adventures, which is basically like little food dates. Um, I'm really into food and he, he's not as into food, but he can eat. I always note down um, special places that I want to check out. Like whenever we're trying to decide where to eat, I'll just look at my list, which I have on my phone. And I'm just like, oh, let's try this place. You know, we like trying lots of different food. We only usually go on like special kind of dates on our anniversary or month anniversary or whatever. When it was our one year anniversary, we went out on a picnic at the Botanical Gardens. I think that's what it was. I think that's where we went. And then we went out to dinner at the Star Buffet afterwards and then we just like, you know, spent our whole day together. That was pretty special. I don't know, like, it's whatever it suits you guys. I mean, we like sitting in bed potatoing most of the time, so that's what we do most of the time. We do that or we eat or we just go out and hang out with our friends. This is my last question I got a minute ago. What's your favourite genre of music? Okay, so I used to be, you know, when I was a 12 e really into the kind of like top 40 countdown pop and I'm like ill now I don't have any of those new top 40 songs in my phone no thank you um I really like R&B and hip-hop now that's like it's always been my favorite genre but like yeah that's all I really listen to right now and a bit of hard style which is obviously why you know I like to go to raves and stuff and yeah that was my last question guys that was a pretty poor attempt guys like it looks the same as it did when i got it speaking of mukbangs my favorite people to watch is food tales yeah my favorite mukbang channel to watch is food tales so go check them out so guys that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and question and answer video and if you guys have any more questions or if you like this video and want more of videos like this comment down below what i should eat next or um if i should film another q a and i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye wow